Hi, welcome to Avi's Kosher Kitchen. I have a wonderful recipe for you today. It's Turkish lamb armico. This is kind of a peasant stew that is just hearty, good, wonderful, and very rustic. And before we begin, I want to say l'chaim. I'm using arak, which is a uh, beautiful drink from the uh, Middle East, uh, prevalent to, certainly in Turkey. Um, they called raki there because I want to say a special l'chaim to my mother-in-law. Today, as we're shooting this, is actually her yurt site, and this recipe is based on her recipe. So, uh, Abuela, Chaim, Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam, Shakol Nia Bibaro. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're going to start with some lamb. This is beautiful lamb from Cole Foods. Now, you could use lamb stew, but what I'm using is some lamb uh, bones with some meat on it. Like I said, this is a rustic peasant stew. So these are the little riblets, and what I've done, it comes, you're gonna, they're gonna come like this, okay? I've already taken them and cut them uh, down. And let me show you really quick what we do. We just take this, cut it right between these bones, these little rib bones, and at the end, that's it. Just give a little, sometimes they'll just come right through like that. This is going to be absolutely wonderful. Now what I do here, is I'm going to take my lamb. While I do, I want to heat up a very large uh, stovetop to stovetop to oven pan. You can see this is really going to accommodate a lot of things, okay? We're going to put in some olive oil to this. Beautiful. Don't be shy on this olive oil too because that oil is going to take and distribute all the wonderful, let's put the rest of it, it's going to distribute all the wonderful flavors that are going to be in here. Now I'm going to take this lamb while that heats up. I'm going to put it right here on my cutting board and we are going to take, very simply, lay this out. We're going to take a little bit of kosher salt right over the top of this. Now the kosher salt is really good to use as opposed to regular salt because it sticks to the meat much, much better. And it actually kind of gets in there and besides it, it sounds cool. Table salt, kosher salt. A little bit of kosher salt on that side, boom, we're done. And we take a little bit of cracked black pepper just right over the top. Very simple. And a little bit here. Again, we got spices that are right on our board. Just let it rub around, let it get happy, let it get friendly, let it get everything. We're gonna take our pan. Our oil heats up pretty quickly in this, okay? I'm gonna take the lamb and it goes right in here. What we're gonna do here is we're really just looking to put a uh, crust on this, on this lamb. We just wanna get it, so it's fine if it's hot. We wanna just get it nice and uh, seared a little bit, okay? While that's searing, I'm gonna move this out of the way we are going to get the rest of our stew ready. Uh, before we do that, I've just got raw lamb all over my hands, and I'm gonna wash my hands. Very important to make sure you do wash your hands uh, after you've handled raw meat. Now this lamb, by the way, is, like I said, from Whole Foods. This lamb is grass-fed, 100% grass-fed. So when you buy uh, meat that says it's grass-fed, make sure you look for one that says 100% grass-fed because that means its entire time it was out there, which is gonna make it leaner, it's gonna make it more tender. Now, oftentimes, by the way, grass-fed can be a little bit tougher, but this grass-fed lamb, as well as the beef from Cold Foods, is actually a lot softer and more tender because of the way they feed them. So take a look at this, you can see how it's already starting to, to brown up, okay? So we're gonna let that go. And now I'm gonna take some garlic. I've got uh, five cloves of garlic. I take that and we're just gonna just gently chop these up. Okay, you can mince them. You can take them in a uh, garlic press if that's your thing. Like I said, this is a crude kind of stew. So we want things to be different sizes, different shapes, different textures. That's what this is all about, okay? Just take this, put that to the side. I've got some onions. Again, the same thing. We're not just going to slice it, we're going to do odd shapes, odd things like that. We just want flavors to get in, mingle, say hello, onion, say hello to the garlic, garlic, say hello to this one, that one. It's all about combinations here. And when it combines with that wonderful, wonderful lamb flavor, oh yeah, baby. I want to take my lamb, just turn it, make sure you're getting, getting all sides covered here. 
okay? It takes a little bit of time for that to happen. Now, I have carrots. You can use three or four big carrots. These are a little bit smaller, so I've got about uh, six of them. I'm going to take, again, big crude cuts, rustic cuts. Doesn't matter. Go every which way if you've got a child, a kid wants to learn how to cook, this is a great way because you don't have to, you know, have them do stuff like that. They could just do their own thing and nothing is wrong here. Nothing is wrong at all. And I've lastly got some potatoes. Our potatoes, guess what? Same thing. Now, the lamb in this dish is mostly added for flavor. Okay, it's not meant to be, oh, we're going to have big hunks of lamb and eat a whole lamb thing. It's a peasant dish. They existed mostly on vegetables, but they didn't want to waste any part of the lamb, okay, which is very, very important. It's, uh, nowadays we call it sustainable farming, sustainable practices, and, and that sort of thing. And that's exactly what's happening here with this, with this lamb. Whole Foods uses every, every part of the lamb. In fact, they make a fantastic lamb broth, which I'm going to bring out in a minute because we're going to add it to here. And that is actually a wonderful way to flavor all sorts of things. I'll talk about that in a minute. Let's bring over our lamb again. Now we're going to get ready to do a little seasoning with this. Okay, you can see that it's just searing up. You can see a little bit of brown uh, coming on here, a little bit of the sear. Now's the time, and you can smell that lamb. Now you can smell this flavor coming up. What I want to add first here is my garlic. Just add my garlic in here. You don't want to add the garlic before the lamb because you want the, the garlic will burn easily. So you want to have it in here. It's just going to get happy and friendly. Once you start to smell that garlic, which is almost immediately, yeah, you can see it wafting in here, onions. Just put your onions in. If you pull a couple of carrots, whatever. Just add the whole thing. What the heck? Let's add everything at once. Okay? Or you can see how things just fly it's beautiful colors right here in in the uh, in the pan there we go now a little more kosher salt right into there that's good I take a little bit of white pepper okay go easy on that white pepper but you want a little bit of that spice and now some of my favorite things cardamom again beautiful beautiful Middle Eastern spice you find it in Turkey, it comes with a little cardamom seed. This is actually the secret. Cardamom is the secret to Turkish coffee. A good Turkish coffee, at the end, they throw a little cardamom in there and it just gives it a kick that just, wonderful. And some cinnamon. You find cinnamon a lot in Middle Eastern recipes. I'll put a little cracked pepper in just for, just cause it looks good to do this on camera, right? There we go. Now, this is starting to cook, cook down. Now what we do is we add a little bit of water it's a half a cup, cup of water, something like that. I take a little bit of red wine, put that in. I could put a little shot of white wine just for a little bit of sweetness to it. Now, when I say that the wine is leaching the nutrients out, it's really extracting. It's leaching in a good sense of the word, taking those nutrients, putting it right into all of that armico, that wonderful stew, and you're getting all that benefit right into you. I'm going to add. Don't go anywhere, anybody, okay? Just stay on a close-up. I forgot the lamb broth. Lamb broth, lamb broth, lamb broth, where is it? Ah, here it is. Yeah, it should be enough. Wait! Oh, I dropped it. Oh, it's gonna kill me. I gotta get back, I gotta get back. Clean it later. And this is the lamb broth here. I'm gonna add some of that right in here. To the uh, to the armico, it's going to give a nice extra lamb flavor to it. I think we're pretty good here. So now we've got our lamb broth going. We've got our wine. We've got everything. This is going to be something that's going to make your taste buds, you know, do a little jig. Okay, we're going to let that. <clears throat> what we do is we just simply cover it up. We let it cook down a little bit. We put it in a 350 degree oven for about uh, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, something like that. You can't really overcook this dish. Uh, too badly, okay? You just want to get all those flavors happening and happy. At the end of it, pull the cover off, put it under a broiler, give a little uh, brown to the top, and you're good. And if you don't do the broiler and the browning, 
that's also okay. Now I'm gonna put this aside because I've got a treat for you. Okay, I've got already done for you, my friends, an Armico that I made earlier today, and as they say, through the magic of something. We'll show it to you. Okay, take a look at this. Ready? Wow! You can see it's been nicely browned. The potatoes are soft. That's how you know when it's done, by the way. When those potatoes just sort of fall apart, it's really, really, really done. We take a nice little serving bowl. You take your potatoes, some of your meat and your carrots. Put these things in here. Now the meat's falling right off the bones, but you can take this, uh, these little bones. This is what I love about these little lamb bones, is that when you, when you take one of these, you can just take the bone in your mouth and just chew the meat off it, it's great. And by the way, if you're making something like this on a Shabbat, these little lamb bones are absolutely wonderful in a chulant, in a chameen, something like that, because they bring such great flavor to it. Like I said, you're not gonna overcook them. You're gonna have, you put a little bit of wine in that chulant, leach out those minerals, oh, you're happening. People are gonna go, how'd you do this? This is so wonderful. So, <laughs> there you go, beautiful. Turkish lamb armiko dedicated to my mother-in-law Shoshana Barchaya on her uh, yurt site. Uh, we're going to say to you, Lechaim, have a wonderful life and have some wonderful armiko. Lechaim. Mm -hmm.